Hello everyone and welcome back to Benchmark 2. In the last episode we built these solar panels behind us here and got ourselves a golden jetpack. And since then I have done a bit of off-camera mining and I've got on a whole bunch of redstone so we can upgrade our jetpack further. I got loads of diamonds. I got 47 diamonds in one vein. It was with Fortune 3. But I found it in one of the new, one of the modded mine shafts in this mod pack. It was behind one of the stone walls, and there was just a massive iron vein, obviously generated in by the structure. But I was happy to find that. Anyway, let's get on. Ah, you see, this is why. The normal, craft, normal crafting table is good for some things because you can also sort. Oh, there's a hole there. So I'll do it here for when I'm blocking things up. Okay, I can just chuck that away. Oh my god, I have so much lapis. All right, don't mine any more lapis. Remind myself that. I've got more than I need. Way more than I need. Redstone. I'll block it up, but I need to then unblock it shortly. Oh my god. There we go. Wow. That's a lot of redstone. Diamonds. Coal I've got. You know, coal can just go in the furnaces. Okay, and then as for the iron, I've got a spare hammer, I've got a spare hammer, I'm probably going to need it. Because I need to hammer it all up into some dust. Okay, that is a lot of iron to get cooking through. So, chuck it all in the furnaces. Okay, so now we can work on upgrading our jetpack. We're going to upgrade to the diamond one. We've got more than enough diamonds now. But it's the redstone I need. So I need 11 of these. So let's get out a whole bunch of redstone. Get out a few diamonds. Okay, so I need 11 of these. Please do not make that many. <laughs> Then I need five of these. I need two furnaces. I will make four in preparation for when I do this with the next tier, the emerald. And Thrusters. Okay, and we should be able to craft the next tier jetpack just like that. So gold, two diamonds. And then we need to do the same with the emerald one. So how many emeralds do I have? Is that going to be enough? We're going to find out. And the village I'm in is completely dead, so there's going to be no trading. Get some emeralds. Right, so the same again, I need 11 of these. And then I have plenty of emeralds to make the emerald jetpack. Can hold 48 million energy values. And that's gonna take a long time to charge. Plus four armor as well, I didn't realize that. Let's, te let's, let's test this out, let's see how fast it is. God, look at me go! I am going to crash my game doing that, I can guarantee that. I am going to crash the game loading in that many chunks. But this is definitely going to be good for finding a new base location. So, I have been suggested to build inside of a mountain, so that is what I'm going to do. 
So we do need to go out and find ourselves a really cool mountain to move all of our stuff to and set up a proper base. I would like make a spare battery to take with me, but they can only hold up to a million energy. Whereas this can hold 48 million, so it's not really worth having the extra one. So let's put the emeralds back in our bag. That's going to take a while to charge, isn't it? Like, I'm producing a lot of energy, but that's going to... It should last me, I mean, in all honesty. How long is it... How quickly... That drains quite quickly, to be honest. I think I might just stop and let it charge, at least for a little bit. Right, so I was looking at... The next stage of this charger, just just for my reference, and I need platinum, which we get from the sheldonite ore, which is found in the end. So I'm thinking, we get ourselves some ender eyes, and then we head over to the nearest uh, stronghold and the nearest end portal, and then maybe see if there's a nice place to build our base around there. So I'm going to need to go into the nether. See this takes a long time to charge. Going to go into the nether and we're going to find ourselves some blaze. Have I already found... I haven't found a fortress yet, have I? I don't think I have. Oh, what's that? That looks like something special. Sal. Gotta be careful, because I still haven't got good armour on. I mean, look at my armour. I haven't really worried about armour, because I have flight. Let's head over to these structures here. What's this? Got a golden chest plate on. Yeah, I'm not able to put that on anything. I want to keep my jetpack on. Oh, those are gas tears. I thought they were iron nuggets. Wow, that's, that's a Good source of gas tears. I should take the gold. Maybe I can make myself some gold boots. Uh, actually, saying that, I have all my gold in my inventory, don't I? I don't have much. But that's fine. I can quickly make myself some gold boots. So I am less likely to be attacked. What else have we got around here? What other buildings are there? Soulbound. Keep your items beyond the grave. I like the sound of that. So you got a little wither banner here. Be nice if they had they had some wither, wither skulls to go with it around here. Any chests in the lava lake? No. Right, so have I checked all the houses then? I suspect. That's pretty cool. More gas tears. Alright, okay. Let's get back to trying to find a fortress. Maybe that could be one popping out. That's definitely cell sand. Oh, that's a new biome there. Should go check that out. There's another little structure there. Unfortunately, nothing's popping out at me, so I might have to go exploring. Let's head over to. There's a new biome over here as well. Let's just keep heading south. See what we can find. South is through a wall. Okay, maybe we won't head south. Or maybe we can get around it here. This is bright. Is, is this because of my night vision goggles? Will it look better if I take them off? Yeah, it looks better. What's that? This is strange. Scythian stalk. 
Okay, good thing I put the gold boots on because I want to come in here. I would also like to open these chests though. Without being attacked. Have I got anything gold to throw them? I've got this. Go over the edge to catch it. Good thing they don't really care about me pushing them off. I need another gold to lure them. If I lure them just here. Or I can go down there. Nimble. Nice. Food. I definitely needed that. Arrows to go with the nimble. Enchanted boots. More food. Oh, a netherite scrap. Got some good enchanted swords here. Right, got plenty of food now. Because I keep forgetting to get myself some. That's a brute. Okay, there are brutes here. That's fine. I'll just avoid them. So I said I was going to head south. Jetpack's still got fuel. We're okay. I have marked the portal. Good. I was worried then for a second. Right, so when my jetpack gets about, I don't know, 5 million, I guess we should head home. Oh, oh, that's just a normal crimson biome. I thought that was a different biome for a second then. Right, how about now? Can we see any fortresses on the map? Still no? All I want is some blaze. That looks like it might be something. Maybe. That also looks kind of structury. Yeah, I'm just going to head down south. Okay, I see another fortress just there, and then some weird structure here. Let's go check out the weird structure to begin with. Oh, it's a waystone thingy. Are we able to teleport in and out? Oh, I didn't mean to click it. But we are able to teleport in and out of the nether. Am I able to rename this? Oh, I am. Okay. Nether Fortress. Revoke ownership. Toggle global. Okay. So nether fortress this one's called. A couple of eyes, that's good. Oh yeah, and it's just normal structure. Like the one in the overworld, just sort of nether inspired. So the fortress is over here. I got turned around. Where was the fortress that I saw here? And there's a blaze spawner, just what we need. Whoa! You're not a normal blaze. Hot tourist destinations. Is that because this guy spawned? Explore all nether biomes. Okay, there's not that many then. Ah shit, he's coming here. Blaze Guardian. I'm like, okay, he is taking damage. But I can't hit his shields for obvious reasons. This, he didn't drop a blaze rod. That's disappointing. Okay, now it spawns normal blazes. I guess... I guess he comes out first to protect the blazes. But 
then I come in for the kill. Oh, look, yeah, look. Another one spawned there to protect that spawner. Okay, I've collected six blaze rods. That should be enough for a little while. So, we should mark this waystone here. So, create waypoints. Fortress waystone. So now I can head over to the overworld. So which one is my house then? Not this one. So I'm going to get attacked. Starter, village, except fly away. Oh, he had a sword and everything. Start a village. I hope I spelled that right. I can't really check. Right. Ah! That is a terrible way to die. No, don't pick it up. Oh, shit. I've broken the bed. Stop! Oh, shit. I have no bed. Oh, I have bed. Okay, we have explored the nether. We will get my gravestone. And we can explore the overworld in the next episode. I need a like a secret escape route for this sort of situation. Got my stuff back. My rings stayed on, that's good. Stay away. Okay. Zombies are swarming my location, but that's fine. Six eyes of Ender to find my way. It is that direction. So northwest. So up over here somewhere. In this direction is where we're going to be heading. Hopefully we'll find a waystone along the way so we can like travel easily. Let's get my jetpack on. Hey, were you just in my house? No. Okay. I can't sleep. Get my jetpack on charge. Because we're going to need quite a bit of charge. Why is it not charging? Oh, it is just very slowly. Why so slowly? Alright, well, I'm going to call the episode here. We will head out and look for a place to live and the end portal in the next episode. So come back to check that out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.